typical part or you know with our rigid body analysis we you know we only get six locating features a three two one locating system this is um this is perfectly fine if you have a simple part that is not over constrained like our famous headlamp model <clears throat> however uh, so you, you during the training we use the six plane move it solves this problem perfectly fine however if you have a fender which could have multiple locators as you see here then the three to one move will not properly represent it and so we would have to use dynamic midpoints auto bend reposting we'd have to play all kinds of tricks with the software in order to get the fender to do what we want it to do and the you know and the final and best solution would be to go to our compliant modeler however that requires an additional license plus you need a mesh and stiffness file and it makes the model a little more complicated so we've introduced this new x-plane move which lets the users add all the locators and automatically and easily best fit the part. This is currently a DLL. <clears throat> uh, we are in the process. Can you uh, make that a little bit bigger on your screen? Thanks. That's as big as I can get. That's that's <laughs> pretty good. You can uh, get that orange arrow to uh, get that out of your way. Well, if I hit this, it's that's, going to get that's just on mine. You're good, Gary. Continue. Oh, I was like, it, it is out of my way. Yeah, you're good. Continue. <laughs> okay, so um, we are in the process of putting together a GUI so that you will not have to use the uh, standard DLL for the boot. But in the meantime, I'm going to jump back over now to 3DCS. And you can see, uh, you know, so this is 3DCS V5. <laughs> simple model we have one part going to the simulated frame so we can represent the uh, indexing method and uh, you know you can see I have all these points and if you look in my move list here's my standard here's my standard um, move not sure why it's not showing my directions there we go so if we had this fender and I had to locate it with a rigid body, one of our standard moves, we get to pick six locators. And so you can see here we have three cross cars, one, two, three, two up downs, and one four aft. However, um, this fender has attachments here, it's got attachments here, it's got attachments up here. So then we have this new X-plane move. So let me close this. And this X-plane move allows you to have as many locators as you need, and you will just define which each locator uh, controls. So now you can see I have um, I have a cross car, a cross car, another cross car. I have four cross cars and multiple up downs. Four up downs. Four up downs. Three four aps. And three four aps. Thank you. Um, if I go into this move, currently, you can see, you know, it's a user DLL. <clears throat> it's the DCS move minimum distance fit. And you're going to just pick all of your object points and all of your target points. And then you're going to have, so you can see, so there's 11 features use to locate this and each feature will have its own direction yeah you're defining the pairs just like you do in the six plane mode yes so what i'd like to do is you can see in this list you can see in this list this model actually was used to simulate a standard six plane move the auto bend move x plane move and compliant moves and uh, this was actually dumbed it down a little bit there's a whole bunch of measures in here. We're gonna just look at this one measurement, which is the variation of the back edge of this fender. If I go ahead and build this, 
and run an analysis. You can see it's only picking up, well, I, I probably have you know, some contributors turned off, but the bulk of them are three contributors and my range of variation is 1.52. If I keep that open and I toggle these two moves, build it again, run another analysis. Now you can see that it's picking up the contributors from your multiple locators and my results decrease to 1.22. So it's very common when you're trying to represent how a part locates and you only get a 3 to 1 locating system. Certain areas of the part can be over varying because we can't represent how it's actually located. So this is the next step to becoming a quicker and easier and better representing how a part locates that's over constrained, one step short of going compliant. Also, as mentioned, uh, there will be a webinar specifically on this x move, which will go a little more in depth. This was just uh, you know, to whet your appetite and get you excited about this new capability.